exactly ideal baseball conditions with the rain coming down, but first pitch is just around the corner. Today, we've got a good matchup in store between the Corpus Christi Hooks and the New Hampshire Fisher Cats. C.J. Van Eyck, a right-hander from Florida, gets the ball as the starter here. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, Matt, we're going to see a guy that these your basic four-pitch mix guy. Fastball, curve, slider, and change. Nothing overpowering. A good four-pitch mix, and he's a guy that needs to use all of his pitches to be effective. Ready now is Jeremy Pena, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. Into center field, line drive, base hit. I mean, an absolute bullet line drive on the first pitch of the game. I always wondered how many pitchers were so fr It has to frustrate the living heck out of you. Because if I'm leading off, and I never did it in my career, I'd be pulling the trigger every 0-0 pitch. That might be the best pitch you'll see all day. At the plate now, number four. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. Pena gets his lead at first, nobody out. Swung on and missed that strike two. Fly ball out toward left center field. Left fielder giving chase. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. That in third. The catcher, number five, Corey. Lee. Now to the plate, Corey Lee. First swings for him in this one with the runner still at first and one gone. Has a look, now the pitch. Right on the inside, Black with a slider. Laid off but called the strike. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. Runners on first with one down. Swung on and missed. One and two now. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. This is why it's so hard to be successful as a hitter when you fall behind in the count. One and two, you're probably expecting some sort of off-speed pitches, but when the pitcher offers up a good, hard fastball, it's pretty hard to adjust and catch up to it. J.J. Matajevic stands in as he can't connect here. 0-1. Over to first, and he's back easily. A runner on first with two away. High in the air out to center field. And this hops over the wall out there for a ground rule double, and maybe a tough break as that'll freeze the runner at third with two gone. Off the bat, it looked like that might bring their first run of the game across. But those hopes ended quickly when it hopped over the wall. Everyone gets two bases on a ground rule double, so the runner from first is forced to stay at third, and the next guy is going to have to be the one to put them on the board. Corey Jokes is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. The 0 1 offering. Now a swing and a miss, and things are not looking real promising here. Down 0 and 2. In a big spot like this, you have to be looking for something you can handle. That pitch bunched him up completely, so I think he's trying to do a little bit too much right now. This is skied into short left center. DeCastro ranging into the outfield. He's got it, and they get out of the jam unscathed. So a good job of pitching there as they wind up stranding two men in scoring position in the opening half inning. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one, no score. Renel Blanco, the right-handed native of the Dominican Republic, will be the starter. What do we need to know here, Danny? 
Hey, Matt, we're getting a chance to look at a guy that added a new pitch to his repertoire, the split finger. He won't throw it that often. I think one of the reasons he tried to pick up this pitch had a difficult time throwing the straight changeup, but sometimes the splitter is the quick pitch fix for that. So it'll be interesting to see how and when he uses the splitter in this one here today. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Rekelvin DeCastro is in to start things off here as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. Here's a blooper out toward left center. Left fielder coming in, but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. That second. The third baseman for LV. Martinez. Standing in now, Orelvis Martinez, as he'll take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one. Yeah, the rain starting to intensify here. It's coming down a little heavier now. We'll see how much longer the umpires can wait. Well, you could say that again, Matt. It's raining cats and dogs out there. Make sure you don't step in a poodle. I think it's time to get the grounds crew out. The 1-1. One, one. Runner goes for second. Pitch swung on and missed the throw. And no throw, in fact, as he'll just hang on to it. Ball two. No one out with a runner at second. Swing and a liner. That's in there. Base hit. And he is in there. Now the throw comes quickly into the third baseman, so they're at the corners now to begin the inning. Hey, after back-to-back -back singles right here in the top of the first inning, this team is in prime position to jump. Meanwhile, this ball gets down. It's a base hit. Martinez rounds the corner and is headed home. He comes across to score as it's now a 2-0 ball game. A minute ago, this thing was tied up, but when you're giving up triples, you're not going to be close for too long. Now a two-run lead and a base hit away from making it three. They've got two already home in the inning and a potential third waiting in the wings only 90 feet away. Ball one. That one looked like it could easily have gone the other way. There's a big difference between 0 and 2 and 1 and 1. But now this next pitch probably becomes the biggest of the at bat. And he lays off it to even the count 2 and 2. We just saw a fastball right there. I would not be shocked if he tries to get this guy to go fishing right here and drops a little off speed pitch in the dirt. Swing and a miss. And that's a much needed first out there. Now with the plate is Desan Brown. Another first inning RBI opportunity for him here. Ani pops it up. Matajevic has room in foul territory. He's got it and there are two down now. Now it'll be Rodrigo Vigio. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. Strike one to start the at bat. Hey when you're featuring a mid 90s fastball like this pitcher attack with that pitch get ahead get the offense on their toes that opens up the off speed pitches later in the game tried to get him to go after the slider but it's one and two men on third with two down now a fastball awfully close but he doesn't get the call it's two and two now still hanging with him another good swing to keep it going here now the two two again he sends it out of play. Fouled away. The 2 2 one more time is looked at and the count moves full. These are the kind of ABs, regardless of the outcome, you go back to the dugout as an offensive player and your teammates are loving on you for making that pitcher work and battling it out. Daniels is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. Move ahead to the top of the second now. The Fisher Cats lead it two to nothing. So now into the box is Alex McKenna. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Hey, Matty, they need to get some offense going in this one. Getting a run back in this inning, give them a little bit of confidence that they can keep up in this game. One ball, no strikes to count.
right side but it's going to be a foul ball from the windup the one one pitch ground ball sent back up the middle and a dive but it's off his glove and that should go as a base hit and he will not have time to recover it short that's an infield single nice effort by the shortstop right there kept it in front of him that's a, that's all he could do right there Dan you know dealer in a spot like that that's an infield single that's a tough play just to knock that ball down was a pretty good job but any way you look at it that should be scored a base hit and I'm sure it was Van Eyck isn't really known as the kind of starter that goes deep into games it's not that he isn't capable I'm sure he just hasn't been that guy that works deep into games with regularity. Matty V I'm not sure it's this guy's fault but I think it's more the fault of the metrics and the way we look at pitchers now trying to limit the number of pitches and the number of appearances they have with particular guys in the lineup. Working for the punch out and the offering a ground ball to third and they could get two one there on to first a double play. Now at the plate here is Gray Kessinger. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. As he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. Hey that's just a great mix of pitches right there and that's what this guy's going to do if he's going to keep this team off balance. Here's a drive out to left center field. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. When you drive the ball into the gap like that, nothing but good that things can happen. Neither one of the outfielders had the wheels to catch up to it, and he glides easily into second for a double. Now we'll see if the guys behind him can get him in. In now, C.J. Inahosa, as he will take a look at strike one on a fastball right down the pipe. Opportunity for him here to pick up that runner from second with two away. And this is popped up near second base. And nothing will come of the two-out double as the inning is over. Riding forward now is the D.H. Number 30. He's ready for his first oh, A.B. here in this one. Number 30. Now here's the pitch. That softly hit to right. Will that get down? Yes, it will. It'll be a leadoff single. So the leadoff man reaches base to start out their half of the second inning. Hey, sometimes that's how a rally gets started right there. I know it's a soft liner, but leadoff man on usually poses problems. Stepping in now, Esteban Machado. Nope. A ball and no strikes. A runner at first with no outs here. And that's off the plate and high. 2 and 0 oh now. He might still be thrown off from that first inning, guys. He got knocked around pretty good, and that can be hard to recover from mentally sometimes. Now the 2 0. -oh. Lifted the other way to left center. 
Jokes will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. Batting nine, the left fielder, Forrest Wall. Next, here is Forrest Wall. First delivery to him. Yeah, I get it. They want to run this guy's pitch count up, but that was a pretty good pitch to hit. He might be kicking himself that he didn't swing at that one. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Nope, that's a ball. Swing and a liner. And that's into the outfield for a one out hit. And now it'll kick around in the corner. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. When it left his bat, I thought it might curve foul, but now he manages to squeak it just inside the right field line for a well hit line drive double. By the time the right fielder tracked it down, he was easily into second. He's got a chance to add to this early lead as he'll bat with. Swing and a line drive. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And not in time as the run scores. Well, that wasn't your standard sack fly hit. It was hit pretty low and hard, so it wasn't a given they were going to send it. But they did, and they add a number to the run column. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Orelvis Martinez will stand in for a second time here as he swings and misses there. It's nothing in one. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating. Uh, we'll have to press pause as that strike three to retire the side. So they pick up a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. We played two full. The Fisher Cats are out in front, three to nothing. Stepping in once again is Jeremy Pena, as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. Jeremy Pena. Here's the first pitch. Line drive, and that's a base hit in the center field. So that puts the leadoff man aboard to get the inning underway. Hey, there's a base hit to lead off the third inning. Talk about having a lot of traffic, d -Roll. He's given up several hits already, so uh, he's been in the stretch most of the game. Yeah, no doubt about that, Dan. That is the name of the game for this offense. They're trying to get this guy in the stretch. Hopefully he misses over the heart of a plate like he's been doing so far up until this point. Into the box now, number four. Owen won the count. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. <laughs> 0 and 1, here it comes. Oh, and a good tight slider there, and he's in command, nothing in two. Turned on down the line. But this will wind up foul. Still 0 and 2. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. Boy, that's the best pitch in baseball right there with two strikes. That elevated fastball. Every hitter thinks that, hey, they can do something with that. But most of the time, you get the result that you saw right there. A big swing and a miss and another strikeout. Corey Lee digging in now. As with one away, he can't make contact on the first pitch. It's strike one. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Now a ball lined toward the alley in left center. That's his first base hit, making one for two now. 
Matt, you find that a lot. Guy throws a bad curveball. Even though he gets a swing at it, he didn't like the feel. He doubled up on the same pitch. Yeah, the, the location of the pitch, what got him there on a fat curveball that he was able to single on. To the plate now, J.J. Matajevic skied in the air to straightaway left. Wall is going to get there as he backs up to put it away, and there are two gone now. now Next, Matt. it'll be Corey Jolks, two Corey. on, two out for him here in the third. Yeah. From the belt, the pitch. As with two away, he'll swing and miss with the first pitch. It's 0 and 1. Man, this pitcher is on right now, pounding his zone, attacking these hitters. He's making it look easy. And that's through into center field. Base hit. He'll come home with it. And he is in there with their first run, and it's cut to 3 1 now. You know what I like right there, Dan, is the batter's approach. Not trying to do too much, just taking it right back up to shoot again, staying within himself, and just knowing that anything to the outfield gets him an RBI. Now that's a good piece of hitting. That's a great point, Dior. I think a lot of times hitters go up there trying to do a little bit too much. Sometimes you just have to go ahead and hit the ball where it's pitched, and a good job, and a run batted in. At the plate, Alex McKenna, as he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball, 0-1. Lee over at second. Jokes on at first with two down. Hit in the air to right field. Robertson gets under it and makes the catch to end the inning. So it's a run on three hits, no errors, and two men left on. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And Way next to, to bat will be the first baseman, bat. Nash Knight. The first baseman. Yeah. Pitch on the way. And he gets around on one and hits it high and deep to straightaway right. And this one is gone. A home run. A solo shot here to straightaway right field as it's now a four to one ball game. When this one left the bat, I thought it was going to be an easy out to right, but it just kept carrying and carrying, and the right fielder gave it a great effort and almost brought it back, but no dice. Now batting, right fielder, Will Robertson. So now to the plate, Will Robertson. As he'll take a look at ball one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2 and 0. And this is why he's struggling right here. He's not able to pound the strike zone early in the count. These guys are finding themselves in serious count leverage situations, and good hitters aren't going to miss. Wind up the 2 0 pitch. Yeah, this is one of my biggest pet peeves in the game when guys get count leverage and take fastballs. It's a game of fastballs. You calibrate everything off the heater. Surprising take right there. Jokes is there and he makes the catch for the out. Now so the next to bat will be Desan Brown. Flew out and is only at bat so far. 
first offering. Shocked he didn't let it fly right there. Usually you're looking for a fastball elevated to get the party started. And he lays off for ball one. A ball and two strikes. One out, nobody on. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base, and that's just what they did right there. Big strikeout, keep that guy off the base path. At the plate now, Rodrigo Vigil. As he'll take a look at a high strike here on the outside corner, it's 0-1. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. The wind up and the 0 1. Hey, I got to commend him a little bit. Lead off homer, and now he's one pitch away from getting out of this inning without any further damage. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Center fielder giving chase. But it's over his head, and it hops the wall for a ground rule double. Hey, there's a hard hit ball that was going to be down for extra bases. The ball had some spring on it, and it bounced over the wall, and the ground rule double puts him on second base without having to leg it out. Uh, the rain coming down as it is, we are in for a long delay. The hope is now that they can get this one in at some point. Now, this is this is where it becomes tricky for the managers right now. You have your pitchers out there. You have to be careful not to hurt anybody. So I think the guys that are sitting in the bullpen are, are on red alert as, as the delay has begun. And I'm sure. Skipper out of the dugout making the slow trek to the mound. And a change is in the offing as that'll be all for his starter this afternoon. So he'll depart early here this afternoon as he just never got into any kind of groove out there. And welcome back inside the ballpark as the weather has finally cleared up. Carson LaRue takes the mound now as the new pitcher following the rain delay that lasted an eternity, so it seemed. And it appears we're just about set to resume. Into the box, number 30, as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. He singled in his first A.B. And there's ball one. That's the human element of the game right there. Umpires are going to miss a couple calls. It's the pitcher's ability to stay composed and grind that's going to make him successful today. The 2-1 home. That's lifted the other way out to left. Jokes gets there for the catch, and that ends the inning. But add on one more as the solo shot stretches their lead even further. We played three full. It's now four to one. And stepping in, Zach Daniels. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm a bit surprised to see the bullpen inactive right now. Yeah, I'm with you, Matt. Even though he's pitching okay, I do think you have to look at what he's given you and realize he's probably approaching the end of his rope pretty soon. Last thing you want is for things to start to unravel and not have a guy ready that you can turn to. As he'll take a tough pitch on the outside part of the plate for strike one. Popped up. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Hit hard and caught down there at third. Struck well, but the leadoff man set down to begin number inning number four. Designated hitter, Gray. Next up Kessinger. is Gray Kessinger. 
It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. And now pitch on the way. Rolled slowly down the third baseline. But this is foul for the first strike. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. Behind 0-2 now. Hits are even at seven apiece. Stays alive, still 0-2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. The bouncer to the left side, reined in. On to first, and there are two down. Next to stand in is C.J. Inahosa. He popped out in his first trip. Yeah, Matty, and it looked like he got fooled a little bit. A little bit out front, ended up popping out. Expect him to be a little bit more leery of the breaking pitch this A.B. And this pitch just about saws him off as he can't get extended at all. It's strike one. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Four to one our score as we play inning number four. Saws him off here as this ball's popped into the air. And he'll avoid the fragments out there to make the catch that ends the inning. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And standing in is the switch hitting second baseman, Estevan Machado. Come and learn from some of the best at the MLB Umpire Camp. Both in the classroom and on the diamond, this is your chance to learn how the big leagues do it, no matter what level you're working at now. Don't wait. It's the chance of a lifetime. Become the best umpire you can be. Visit MLBUC.com. Here's the first pitch. That's a ball. Ball one, no strike. Now a ball lined hard toward deep right field. And that'll get down out there near the wall. And he will coast into second with a leadoff double. That was a great job of driving that ball, extending his arms very well, was able to get it over the right fielder's head. One hopping it off the wall for an easy double. That's one of those solid hits that you don't even feel coming off the bat. In now, Forrest Wall. And a swing from him yields a foul pop out of play to the right. One for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. And that misses one and one. Lifted down the line and left. Left fielder is on the move. He can't get to it. This one's down. And he's going to score with ease as the throw will be too late. Now that not shortstop. Reed Kelsey. 
to the plate now, Recalvin De Castro, as he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. Wall aboard here at first with nobody out. That's inside. Two and zero. Oh. Hey, the bullpen needs to step up in this situation. I got to believe the manager was hoping for way more than this. The count now at two and one. From the belt, the pitch. Orelvis Martinez is on deck. Out in front there as this one's pulled off to the left side. Ready with the payoff pitch. And a big cut at the breaking ball, but he comes up empty, and that's the first out. That's just a great pitch, both on the call from the catcher and the execution. If he hits it, there's a good chance it turns into a double play ball, but it's also a spot that's going to get a lot of whiffs, too. That's excellent pitching. Standing in now, Orelvis Martinez, as he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle. It's 0 and 1. He's 1 for 2 in this one. Here's the 0 1. He's not having his best outing in this one, and I think that curveball is part of the reason why. He couldn't get on top of that one, and that's not the first time that's happened. Runners off for second. Fly ball right down the line and left. Left fielder giving chase. He's not going to have a play on it, and this might bring home the runner from first. Wall is on his way home. He will score, and it's now a 6-1 to one ball game. Yeah, you want to applaud the effort as he sells out for it, but the smarter move would have been to take a deeper angle and cut the ball off. He does that, and the runner probably doesn't score from first. On the flip side, great piece of hitting right there. Into the box now, Nash Knight. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. Another RBI spot for him. He's already got three in the game. On, he pops it up. Here's the 1-1. This is in the air to left field. Catch made in left. Here comes the runner for the plate. And he will score on the sacrifice fly. Great work to do a job right there. He's not a big power bat, so he was looking to get a fly ball to the outfield and give his guy a third a chance. And he takes ball one. And he fouls this one off. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Well, I think he just kind of lost focus on the mound right there. It's clearly not going his way. And he's thinking more about that than the task at hand. And right now, he needs to think about this hitter. Here now the 2-2. Oh, hit sharply as this is pulled into right. And no trouble for him as he makes the catch to end the inning. So three runs on three hits, no errors, and no one left. On to the top of inning number five we go. The Fisher Cats lead it 7-1. to one. New inning set to get underway and set to go is the second baseman, Jeremy Pena. Jeremy Pena. Here's the first pitch to him. Hard liner, but picked up on a hop. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. And now here is number four. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. Here's the first pitch. Clearly off with his timing on that one, a swinging strike. The difference between 0-1 and 1-0 is so monumental, and this guy has been on top of his game all day, attacking the zone and getting ahead of these hitters. Now here it comes. Line towards center field, and that's in for a base hit. Make it a one for three games so far. The catcher, number five, Corey Lee. Now here comes the skipper out of the first base dugout heading for the mound and he's going to motion for the bullpen as that'll be all for his starter this afternoon. 
So he'll head to the dugout after working just four and a third, not enough to qualify for the victory, as his bullpen will have to go a long way to hang on to the lead. John Harris enters to make an appearance on the mound as he inherits a runner at first with one out in the inning. Stepping in now, Corey Lee. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ball game. Got him to swing at a pitch below the knees, one and one. Right hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. The 1 1 home is strike two swinging. Yeah, guys, he's got so much respect for this guy's fastball. You could tell he was out in front on that slider. I think he goes to the well one more time with that pitch. On oh, its tailor made to short, six. And the throw forces him to lay out for that one, but he keeps a foot on the bag to record the out. The first baseman, number 23. Next up, JJ Matajevic. He flew out in his last AB. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. And he's a bit tardy there on the first pitch fastball. It's nothing in one. Hey, either this hitter needs a cup of coffee or he was sitting off speed right there. Loud contact there, but it's well fouled. Grounded back up the middle, and that's through into center field. Base hit. And they're not going to get him. He's in there at the plate. Dan, you were one pitch away from getting out of this. Two outs, two strikes on the batter, and he's able to throw out a ribby knock. Dero, it's hard to get more frustrated than that as a pitcher. You're one pitch away from getting out of a lot of traffic on the bases, getting into the inning, and next thing you know, you give up a two-out, two-strike base hit. Nothing more frustrating for a pitcher than to have that happen. At the plate, Corey Jolks as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. A hit in two tries for him so far. Here's a pop up now. Knight has a play, and that retires the side. A run on two hits, and they leave one. Home half of the fifth coming up. The Fisher Cats are out in front, seven to two. Now to bat, Desan Brown. He flew out his first time around and then was a strikeout victim most recently. Here's the pitch. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side, but this will land untouched. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Hit weakly back to the mound. And there's one away. And now in the box, Rodrigo Vigil. He doubled his last time up. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. No balls in one strike. Set to deliver the 0-1. Fly ball out toward left center field. Left fielder is on the move. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. So next to hit is number 30. One for two on his line so far in the game. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Two out, nobody on. Hit in the air down the right field line. 
And that will end up a foul ball. A little bit off the outside. It's one and two. Strike three called, and the inning is over. Now into the box, Alex McKenna. He's working on a one for two game so far. Alex McKenna. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Here's a looping fly ball out to right. In there, a base hit. Hey, just a nice piece of hitting right there. He's able to keep his hands inside that ball, stay square as long as possible, and feed it into the opposite field for a base hit. At the plate now, Zach Daniels, as he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. And boy, this at bat is not starting off well as he's behind 0 and 2 now. Not much you can do with that one. Tied him up in knots. And it's fouled away. Got to believe the pitcher's going to trust his defense right here. Look for something down in his zone to induce a ground ball double play. Swing and a little blooper to center. DeCastro onto the grass. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. The Next to hit is Gray Kessinger. One for two in the ball game thus far. Kessinger. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. As he'll chase one up around the letters here for strike one. That's just too much velocity upstairs to get good wood on it. It's going to have to lower his sights. On a line, that's a base hit. He'll hold it second, and there are two aboard now. Well, D. Rowe, there's another base hit making it first and second. They're piling up the hits on the day, but so far, not many runs to show for it. Yeah, definitely a few knocks in the cupboard makes you feel good, and the batting average goes up, but that doesn't help you win ball games. Somebody has got to come up with a nice A-B with runners in scoring position. Into the box, C.J. Inahosa. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. No hits to this point. Oh, one pitch on its way. Oh, it's hit to third. Five, four, three on a nice dig at first, and the inning is over. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and that'll bring in the second baseman, Estevan Machado. The second baseman. First offering. Fouled off. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. High fly ball out to straightaway center. McKenna is right there, one down. Next to hit, Forrest Wall delivered an RBI single last time up. Now the first pitch. Bases are empty, one man out.
Had him fooled there as this is lifted in the air out to left center and shallow. Jokes comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for route number two. So the lineup flips over and digging in, we Kelvin DeCastro. He went down on strikes last time up. Now the first pitch. Fouled away. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. And he fouls this one off. Bases are empty here with two men out. Another one sent foul. Swing and a miss, and that's out number three. You gotta be happy. Keep working today. That's my way come one day. Don't worry. You gotta be happy. Keep fighting today. That's my So stepping in is Jeremy Pena. He grounded out last time up. The second baseman, Jeremy. Yeah. First pitch coming. Here it is. Oh, what a pitch to start the at bat there. It's nothing in one. Man, this guy's been locked in all game long. I don't know where that ugly swing just came from. Right over the top with that curveball, and it's 0 2. Now, some action out in the bullpen as a lefty and a right hander begin throwing. Job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. And it's fouled away. The 0 2 once more. And this is popped up back behind second. De Castro will stay with it as he backs up and puts it away. One gone. The bat. So here number is four. number four singled in his last at bat. First pitch of the AB now. Swing and a miss that time. It's 0 and 1. That swing had one purpose, and that was to put the ball over the wall. I guess he doesn't have much to lose with his team down this many at this point in the game. Well, and he's got him in the palm of his hand now. It's 0-2. Ugh, was that ugly. You could probably throw anything out there to this guy. He'd swing at the Raza bag if you throw it up there. Hit hard down the left field line. But a foul ball, and the count holds at 0-2. Nothing in two count and the pitch hit down the third baseline. He's got it. Throw on to first two gone. Digging in next Corey Lee. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. First pitch on its way. High in the air down the right field line. And it's a foul ball. The 0 and 1 delivery. Line shot to third, and the side is retired. For the traditional seventh inning stretch. Last half of the seventh here, and set to go is the third baseman, Orelvis Martinez. The third baseman, Martinez. First 
first delivery to him. Swung on and missed that strike two. Still no balls and two strikes. Another 0-2 coming. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Left fielder is on the move. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Now back. Digging in, the switch hitter, Nash Knight. Notched an RBI on the sack fly in his previous turn at the plate. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. Well, this has been a lot of pitches for him out of the bullpen. As you can see there, they're asking a lot of him in this one. So I wouldn't be surprised if he gets a day off or two after this one. This is skied into short left center. In comes the left fielder, and he tracks it down. A nice running play to record the second out. Into the box, Will Robertson. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. That's popped up. Number four shading to his right and he's got it for the final out of the frame. So they go quietly here in this half inning. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. The Fisher Cats lead it seven to two. Ready to begin the eighth and here comes the first baseman J.J. Matajevic. The first baseman number 23 J.J. Matajevic. Now here's the pitch. Hey, there's an old saying in baseball, you need to take a strike in this spot. Well, he got one there. Now he just needs to find a way to get on. The 0-1 pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Left fielder is on the move. He's there and records the first down. Next, it'll be Corey Jolks. He's working on a one for three thus far. First pitch on its way. Fastball swung on and missed. Hey, I know he's aware he can't tie the game with one swing of the bat, but maybe he's just trying to excite the boys and get one on the board. Line towards center field, and a knock for him this time. He's two for four for the game. That's another base hit for him. I got to say, though, they've had a really hard time turning all these hits to anything productive on the scoreboard. Only two runs to this point, so stranded runners has been the theme most of the game. We'll see if they can cash in here. In now, Alex McKenna. Well, right back at him, and it hit him. Thankfully, he's able to recover, and he gets the second out at first. Joey Murray enters the ball game out of the pen, looking for the final out here in the top of inning number eight. Zach Daniels will be his first assignment upon entering as he'll bat with the runner in scoring position here and two away. He's set and the pitch. He grounds it sharply to third. Scooped up. And the off balance throw is right there for the third out. And a high degree of difficulty on that one as the side is retired. Bottom of the inning now, and digging in is the outfielder, Desan Brown. And now the first pitch. Listen, I'm not trying to make up an excuse. Colin McKee is on to pitch here in the eighth with nobody out. 
Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball one and one. Well, that's a surprising late swing on a heater, middle cut right there. In a fastball count, he's going to have to turn it up a notch. Here comes the one two. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. That's a pretty unique pitch sequence, guys. Usually pitching is all about mixing now pitches batting. and location, yes, but he threw that all off the window to get that strikeout. He offered the same pitch three times in a row, so I guess he sort of used that reverse psychology to outthink his opponent. To the plate now, Rodrigo Vigil, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. And a strike to even the count, one and one. Fouled off. Here comes the one two. To two balls and two strikes now. One out, nobody on. And it's another K. So back to back strikeout victims to start this relief outing. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start Number this inning. 30. That's back to back K's and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. Stepping in now, number 30, as the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Popped straight up. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. So nothing happening this time around. We've played eight full. The Fisher Cats are out in front, seven to two. And now, Gray Kessinger. And his guys need him to get things started here in the top half of the ninth. Gray Kessinger. Now here's the first offering. The wind up and the 0 1. Hit on the ground out to short. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Now to the plate, here is C.J. Inahosa. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Here's the first pitch. Swing and a ball lifted in the air toward the line and right. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Now, second base. Stepping up is Jeremy Pena. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. And that's in there. Base hit. Around first. He's digging for second. And he is in the second base with a double. His third hit this afternoon. The batter, number four. So now to the plate, number four. Swing, and he launches this one to deep left field. Left fielder looking up, still ranging back. Gone! It's a two-run shot to straightaway left, and it's now a 7-4 to four ball game. Dan you see the guy out on the mound he's pitching with bad body language right there there's blood in the water for a lot of these hitters you know D row you have to make up your mind when you run out there you're going to do one of two things you're going to be the hunter or the huntee but right now they're hunting this guy Kirby Sneed takes the ball now in inning number nine looking to close the door at the plate Corey Lee and he'll put this one away and with that the ball game is over man that's what you would call an efficient outing one pitch and he gets the save. 
He doesn't get paid by the pitch, so he just figured he'd end it quickly and hit the showers. Good call. 7-4 the final finish today. The New Hampshire Fisher Cats jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. John Harris pitches well enough to get the W. Rene Blanco couldn't work out of the third inning taking the loss. So that'll just about do it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Blazak, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshow.com.